Next, we have the properties of exponents that cover division. So let's take a look at our first one. a to the r divided by a to the s. When I have the same base with division, I can write the result as a to the r minus s. So when I multiplied with the same base, I added exponents. In this case, when I do division with the same base, I'm going to subtract exponents. And you always subtract the exponent in the denominator from the exponent in the numerator. So, for instance, if I have 7 to the 5th over 7 to the 2nd, let's just write this out the long way so that you can see that this property really is justified. 7 to the 5th power would be 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. 7 to the 2nd power, 7 times 7. Now, if I was to divide out factors common to the numerator and denominator, I would end up with 7 times 7 times 7, which is 7 to the third power. Now I could simplify this by multiplying 7 times 7 times 7 if I want, but I won't do that. Notice that this 3 is the same as 5 subtract 2. So I could skip this step right here and just say 5 subtract 2 for the exponent. That gives me 3, and I use that same base 7. So you can see that this definition right here is justified just by looking at a simple problem using our definition for exponents. All right, how about x to the fourth over x to the third? That's going to be x to the 4 minus 3, which is x to the 1, which is x. y divided by y to the third. Okay, well, what's the exponent in the numerator? I just have a y, so the exponent must be 1. So that's y to the 1 over y to the third, which is y to the 1 minus 3, which is y to the negative 2. And now I like to write my answers with positive exponents. And I know that y to the negative 2 is the same as 1 over y to the positive 2. So I use that definition for my negative exponent to write this this way. Okay, let's try one more problem here. And that's going to be, what about if I had, uh, let's say, a to the second power divided by a to the negative fourth power. So I have the same base right here. It's division, and one of my exponents is negative. Well, it doesn't matter to me what my exponents are. The rule says that it's, if it's division with the same base, I subtract the exponent in the denominator from the exponent in the numerator. So that means that this is going to be a to the 2 subtract. That's my subtraction sign from my definition right here. Now the exponent in the denominator, minus 4. That's a to the 2 plus 4, which is a to the 6th power. So you can see when you do division with the same base, you're going to subtract exponents. It makes no difference if that exponent in the denominator or the numerator is negative. You still have to supply your own subtraction sign to go with this definition. Okay, one more property. a over b, a fraction like this raised to the r power is a to the r divided by b to the r. So if you have something in this form and you want to write it like this, you can. If you have something in this form and you want to write it like this, you can. So let's start with a simple problem, 2 thirds to the third power. Well, I can write that if I want as 2 to the third over 3 to the third, because that's what this property tells me I can do to an expression like this. Now, to simplify, that's just going to be 8 divided by 27. And you know that's correct, because if I just took 2 thirds and multiplied 2 thirds times 2 thirds times 2 thirds, with my, what I know about fractions, that would come out to be 8 27 And sure enough, applying this property to this expression, I get the same result. So there's a look at some simple problems that involve the properties of exponents that have to do with division.